Hello? Hello. Is anybody, is anybody there? How you guys doing? We just got home today from San Francisco. We played a show for Pure Storage. It was pretty fucking great, actually. We had a really good time. Thank you guys for having us. That was fun. Had a good time running around San Francisco. Did all the touristy stuff. Walked the piers. Walked Hate Ashbury. Yeah, it's fun. How was everyone today? Seeing us at Purdue, great. See you there. Seeing us at Woodlands, awesome. It's always fun. You're great, I'm great. Oh. See you in Detroit, I'll see you in Detroit. Speaking of Detroit, my Tiger's hat on. My eyebrows look like cats. Oh, they're pretty bushy, huh? <clears throat> See you in Amsterdam. See you there. That's my favorite ice cream. It used to be Rocky Road. It might still be Rocky Road, but I don't know. I don't really know. Hagen dazs strawberry is really good. <laughs> you look like my crush, but old. Oh, I appreciate that. This is lit. I don't know about lit. Sausage Party trailer? Yeah, we were just talking about that this morning. It goes into it like it's a Pixar movie and I wasn't expecting the twist in the trailer where they just start swearing, holy fuck, they're eating the kids. It's crazy. My favorite kind of cheddar cheese. I like uh, aged Irish white cheddar. It's really good. He's deaf, and he's deaf always lit. Yeah, yeah, most of the time. Everybody's got their coping mechanisms, right? I like to stay high. You have to try espresso cheese, it's bomb. Coffee cheese? Freaks me out. If there's actual coffee in it though, I don't know if I should do that. You gotta stop drinking coffee. Did you see my messages on Vine? Unfortunately, I haven't been on Vine in a little bit, so I probably didn't, sorry. I'll try to get back on there, though. What am I drinking? I made a little tequila, La Croix with lime. Not too bad. It's very hot here in LA. I didn't look at the weather, but it feels like 80 something, 85 maybe, 86. It's probably not, it's probably like 70 something, but. fake people. What? I don't understand that sentence. Have we seen Deadpool yet? Yeah. It's fucking awesome. I thought Ryan Reynolds was so good in it. I like your hat. Where'd you get it? I actually got this on stage in Detroit last year. Played a show, Weezer headlined, and a fan was nice enough to throw it up on stage, and I've been wearing it ever since. So thanks again to the fan that threw it up, because it's my favorite. My aunt says you have nice lips. Tell her thank you for me.
You're gonna bake me cookies at Purdue? Um, I appreciate the gesture, but I won't eat them. I had a really bad experience with a fan and cookies a long time ago, so. Appreciate the thought, but I will not be partaking in your cookies. Sorry. Is it true that you're doing a collab with Ariana Grande? Not that I'm aware of. I never even met her. I back her though. She's a really good singer. That new song, Dangerous Woman, is really good. It's basically a minor version of uh, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman. It's good though. I like it. Would I ever meet a fan in real life? Nah. It's not for me. I tried it a few times. Oh my god, what did the fan do to the cookies? They put hair in every cookie. There were like 24 cookies. And I ate like half of them. It was awful. <clears throat> Before realizing there were hair. Hairs in each one. I, uh, me and a friend kind of demolished. We were just poor and hungry and <laughs> it happened. <laughs> Not proud of it, but it happened. TRI Robotics, what up? Like a lock of hair in each? Yeah, like a couple hairs in each. Like long strands of hair. It could have been a, a guy's hair, but I'm guessing it was the girl that gave it to us. She had long hair. Looked like the same color. Kind of an off brown. Oh. Gross. Um, so you ate her hair, yeah. And then I felt sick afterwards and it puked. It was not fun. You should sell edibles at the merch table during the summer tour. Listen, I, uh, you know, my drug dealing days are over, all right? There's dispensaries everywhere if you guys really need drugs, all right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be peddling drugs anymore. <clears throat> Did you eat poutine in Quebec City? Yeah, I love poutine. See you at Summerfest. All right, I'll see you there. Come to Atlanta. I love Atlanta. I always have a really good time there. How old are you, 20? Yeah, yeah, I'm 20. Shit, I'm gonna be 29 in a month. Less than a month. 25 days? All right? Today's 16th, yeah. Do you love Sia? I love Sia. Her voice is so incredible. Hmm. Oh, I just started losing my breath, sorry. That was weird. Hmm. <laughs> I'm 25, your oldest fan probably. Definitely not. Definitely not. Come to Chi Town. Okay. Been here since the beginning. I love you. Appreciate you. When did you first really and truly get into music? Kind of always been into music. I grew up in a very musical family. My mom played uh, organ at church and piano for Relief Society. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Mormon Church Relief Society. And my dad and my mom both sang in the choir. So I joined when I was about 12. Started singing in the choir with them for a couple years. And I got bored of that and I left. And uh, yeah, my dad plays guitar, my sister plays cello. We always had stuff. Always had music in the house.
favorite type of music? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't, I don't know if I have a favorite type. I have favorite songs that I keep going back to, but we were in uh, San Francisco yesterday before the show. We went to a couple bars and they were playing Sublime and it made me very happy. <laughs> Excuse me. What genre do I consider my music? I don't know. I usually, you know, when people ask me, it's usually in an awkward setting, so I just say rock, something general like that. It's rock, it's pop, it's, I don't know. But saying your music is pop is kind of shitty because it's just short for popular. <laughs> uh, you know, it's like really well known. <laughs> How are my dogs? They're great. Thanks for asking. They're always good. Do I have neighbors close by? Not really close. <sighs> Separated by a wall. This wall. Okay. The closest one is right there. You can see the house right there on the other side. But they're never over there. That's like their second house, I think. I don't know. They have a pretty big yard. My sister says she doesn't like Don't Threaten Me or Emperors. Well, that's unfortunate for her. I love those songs. <clears throat> What's my favorite restaurant? I don't know. Anything Mexican food. My grandma loves your voice? I'm flattered. That's awesome. Reaching different generations, guys. That makes me happy. Can I beatbox? Yeah. I used to beatbox in high school. That's another reason I got bullied. <laughs> me and this kid that I was friends with for about a month, maybe two months, we hung out and uh, we would, I brought my little guitar amp and a Radio Shack mic that was about $5. And uh, yeah, we just beatbox. Switch off. Yeah, we do crazy, crazy dumb shit. If you don't know who Razel is, that was who we were trying to imitate. Razel is like the master beatboxer. He basically did all the drums on Bjork's uh, Medulla album. Really good album. It's all vocal. It's crazy. What's my favorite cuss word? It goes between yelling Jesus Christ and fuck. I think I say fuck more often though. Yeah. It's hard to pick a favorite though. I say cunt too much. I've been saying cunt a lot more. This is getting real dirty. But I've been saying that a lot more often lately. <laughs> when I get real frustrated. Ah, cunt. It's more acceptable in the UK. If you say it in America, they're appalled. Everybody's freaking out. But you can say shit or fanny. Fanny in the UK is totally different than America. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Fanny pack is not really the same thing in the UK. <clears throat> kind of dog would I get if I wanted a third? Um, I like Brussels Griffin. Those are kind of cool. Um, you don't see how cunt is offensive? I can see how it's offensive. I can see how anything's offensive, but I don't necessarily agree with it. You know? I don't think it's... I don't know. I think it depends on the use. If you're blatantly being an asshole and calling somebody a cunt, then yeah, you're being disrespectful. Can you say hi to Alanis? Hi, Alanis. What was it like being on James Corden? It's awesome. He is one of the warmest, most welcoming, genuinely happy people. And it made me very happy to be there, perform for him. Thanks, James Corden, for letting us be there, dude. That was awesome. He's seriously like the coolest guy. <laughs> if you hate him, you got a problem because he's a very warm individual. 
You were naked. Yes, I was. I was. They actually cut out. They only showed about a half of what happened when I opened the door. I don't know if you guys saw. Actually, I know you didn't because they didn't show that. But yeah, they were, you know, showed some ass and uh, showed some privates and I think they cut it out. But they said, whatever you want. And I said, I like being naked. And they said, okay, nervously. So I did what I was going to do. Do I fly or drive to venues? Both, yeah, depends. If it's a one-off show, meaning we're at home and we have a show tomorrow in Pittsburgh and then we get to come back home, then it's a fly date, so we fly. But if we're on tour, yeah, we're in the bus, so we drive. And sometimes we'll road trip, like if we do a college run where it's like two weeks, we'll rent a Suburban or some kind of SUV and we'll, I don't know, it's more fun that way. I know people would rather, they try to convince us to fly all the time, but we like hanging out with each other, so. We'd rather spend time in the car, playing games, listening to awesome music, all kinds of stuff, you know? Excuse me, that was a burp. Mm -mm -mm. No shit, Sherlock. Oh, cool. Can you tell me something? Tell you what? Nice whistling, 10 out of 10. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Advice for dealing with anxiety. You know, sometimes you just gotta be anxious and deal with it, or at least own it. Be anxious. It's not a bad thing, I don't think. Try to use anxiety to stay hyper aware, you know? It's kind of like a, it's a defense mechanism. I mean, we're animals. If we were in the wild still, then yeah, we need that fear and that anxiety to help us survive. I don't think it's ever gonna leave. Could you ask for a Canadian tour we're freezing? I'm sorry to hear that. I would love to do a Canadian tour. <clears throat> do you know where Poland is? I think so. We played a show in Krakow, so I think, yeah. Silly Brennan, there's no Wi-Fi in the wild. Yeah, I know. What? <sighs> what strain of weed do you usually smoke? Uh, this is Magic Beans, currently in my ear. And I'm just waiting for these very nice people to leave my home. They're helping me and Sarah set up a rug in our house. And then once they're gone, I don't want to disrespect them, so I'm going to wait, and then I'm going to smoke. I like indica. <clears throat> Yo, light at the joint, bro. Nah. Do you actually smoke weed? No. I don't touch it. I've never touched the stuff. It freaks me out. That's drugs, guys. Drugs are bad, okay? weed good for you? Yeah, it depends. It's not good for some people. I have friends who fall into psychotic episodes if they smoke weed. So I would never offer it to them. But then others are way better and more calm when they smoke weed, so I offer it all the time to them. Even if they don't consider themselves stoners. <laughs> would I ever come to Spain? I would love to. I haven't been to Spain in about eight years, seven years. It's been a while. Are you joking? Joking about what? Weed? I don't smoke weed. Do you have a P.O. box? No. I'm seeing you at Jones Beach this summer. Awesome! I like that venue. Uh, last time we played there, it was on the Blink Tour, and we gave... Mark Hoppus, whose birthday was yesterday. Happy, happy late birthday, buddy. He gave Mark Hoppus a bass and he threw it into the river. So, that was cool. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Oh, man.
Do you think Mark Hoppus is watching right now? I think he's always watching. I'm convinced that he's big brother. He controls everything. He's like Alan Greenspan. He controls our economy. Do I have any cool tour stories? Sure. I've got a few. <laughs> that was a really lame answer, I realized. <laughs> I could have mentioned one. I'm trying to think. Um, cool tour stories. Uh, one time, our merch guy, we were riding jet skis on my birthday in Florida. And he didn't see this big sandbar that was coming up and he was full full throttle He was going about 55 miles an hour on a jet ski just pinned and Didn't see it and hit the sandbar and flew right over the bars He's alive and well, but he definitely bruised probably broke a rib Bruised his body up pretty bad. I felt really terrible for him because he's such a sweetheart, but yeah that happened I don't think that's a cool tour story. I don't know why I thought of that one It's warm outside. So I'm thinking of summertime stories Sounds painful. Yeah, it was. Felt really, really bad. <clears throat> Am I up to date with Walking Dead? No. I haven't seen the last one. Don't spoil it for me, please. Do you like Trump? I don't know him. I don't like his politics. Most of them. He's got a couple things that I can't disagree with, but he's a fucking psycho. I think he's a mediocre TV host uh, at best. And if you haven't seen him get Stone Cold Stunnered by Stone Cold Steve Austin, then I suggest looking that up on YouTube because, yeah, Donald Trump was on WWE for a long time. So, yeah, check that out. <clears throat> He's a fucking idiot. He's definitely something. He's, a, he's special. He's touched. My favorite fast food? Ooh, that's tough. I mean, the most consistent is McDonald's, but I like Taco Bell. I'm a big Taco Bell fan. I like Carl's Jr. Uh, I like that Western bacon cheese. This is a burger. Should have finished that sentence. Backflip in the pool? No, it's pretty cold actually. Oh my god. I think it's like 40 something degrees. It's negative two in Scotland. Is that Celsius or Fahrenheit? If that's Celsius, what is that in Fahrenheit? Like 20 degrees? 25 degrees? Celsius. So, yeah, it's like in the 20s, right? Yeah, that sucks. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, either way, that's cold. But not as cold as I was assuming. If it were Fahrenheit, that would be terrible. Or would that be negative 15? In Celsius? I don't know. Um. Do I have any scars? I have plenty of scars, yes. I have like five on my hands. I've got one on my eyebrow since I was probably one, two years old. I don't know. I don't remember that one happening, but. My favorite song to perform? Right now it's Good Time and Emperors. It's kind of a toss up between the two. I like playing the new stuff. Because it's like, it's all f fresh, you know? The old stuff definitely has a special place in my heart, but I haven't really played the new stuff. So it's fun, it's exciting, it's new. 
favorite 80s movie? Big Trouble in Little China, maybe. Um, Uncle Buck. I like all the John Hughes movies. Breakfast Club. Um, Pretty in Pink. Hmm. Huh. Sixteen Candles. Favorite classic horror movie. Favorite classic horror movie. Um, I like the gory ones. I just think their practicality with the special effects is so cool. Try to mimic that. Uh, Nightbreed is good. Hellraiser. Um, the new stuff, newer stuff like Conjuring and Insidious are really good. They're actually pretty creepy. So those are fun. Advice on how to write your own songs. Um, write about what you know, what you've experienced, what's true to you, and pick a song that you really admire and, and just try to copy it. And then once you copy that song, make it your own so it's different, you know? So it has a similar vibe, but you're not stealing from another person. Boxers or briefs? Trunks. I like trunks. They're shorter than boxer briefs, so they don't go all the way down your thigh. I like that. Are you fucking tired of sins? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So sick of, no, I'm not tired of sins, you dingus. Do you like living in California? I love it, yeah. I mean, it's gorgeous out today. Beautiful. <clears throat> You've seen us play nine times? That's incredible. Thank you. It makes me very happy. That's so weird. It's so crazy, you guys. Favorite social media? I don't know. Periscope's fun. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Twitter's the hub for everything. I've been getting into the Snapchat lately. The Snapchat. It's a good time. Some good filters on there. Most humbling experience. Um, we played a festival where we almost died, and that was very humbling, just realizing that anything can happen. But honestly, like meeting, meeting your idols, and they're real people, but they're very wise, and it kind of humbles you to think, wow, you've done so much for me, and you're this very kind and caring person. Like when I met Billy Joel, he was so personable, very warm, welcoming. James Corden, same, again, there you go. Dab for us. <laughs> Plans for your birthday. Well, we're gonna be on tour. We're always on tour during my birthday, so I try to find a day off. And luckily, they give it to me. They give me the day off on my actual birthday, so I think I'm gonna go and probably taste some bourbon, hit a couple distilleries. Taste a bunch of different bourbons. It'd be really fun. What do you do on days off? Usually just try to go meet people in bars and eat local food. Just meet locals. It's a lot of fun. Why are you wandering around? Uh, it's like being on the phone. Like when I'm on the phone, when I'm on a business call or something, I walk. It helps my thinking process. Could be the anxiety, it could be a number of things, but. It's very calming, has a calming effect for me. <clears throat> Advice for high school? Don't take it too seriously. Because, uh, you know, life ends up being pretty similar to high school in, in terms of maturity with uh, people that you meet randomly every day. And I don't think it's as serious as people make it out to be. Bullying and all that included. You know? Who is this guy? Why he have so many followers? I'm nobody, sir. Or madam. I'm just a, a rando Calrissian. Just talking with friends. Just hanging out. Are you famous? Nah. He's a cool viner. Yeah. <laughs> it's been like two years. Oh no, I did one like two months ago. 
It wasn't my idea, but yeah, I, I did that. I'm so bad at Vine now. I haven't really done it. <clears throat> Sing some Frank Sinatra. What song? I love Frank Sinatra. Um, All the Way? What about All the Way? Uh, when somebody loves you, it's no good unless he loves you. All the way. That's a really good song. Have you guys heard Harry Connick Jr.'s version of it? I think he did it in like some morning show. It was really good. He's another singer that's just phenomenal. Composes all his own stuff, plays piano phenomenally. Yeah, he's wild. Did you have strict teachers? Of course. There's always cool teachers and there's strict teachers. There's smart teachers and dumb ones and there's all there's a variety of everybody in everything. <clears throat> Did I ever have a crush on a teacher? Oh yeah. I had a teacher in my senior year. Uh, I was still 17 at the time. Her name was Miss Lipinski, my English teacher, senior year. And she was very attractive. She was 23 years old, so all the guys were just swooning over. She was gorgeous. And then she got fired because she slept with a couple students and the principal found out. So that whole time, I guess I could have been hooking up with her and I didn't. <laughs> I guess I was fucking up. She must be like 80 now. So she's 34? Yeah. She's gonna be 34. She was very sweet. Not a bad teacher by any means. But, yeah. Teacher told me I'd never amount to anything once. Yeah, I've, I've heard that. I had a teacher, uh, actually my favorite teacher of all time, Mr. Mata. He's the best. Uh, actually that movie Whiplash, about the drummer, starring J.K. Simmons. Reminds me of, of that teacher, you know, having uh, music stands thrown at you if you mess up. But it wasn't out of hate, it was trying to make you a better performer and artist and musician. Yeah, I've had that. What's my favorite white wine? <laughs> I don't know if I have a favorite white wine. I don't really drink white wine. I like red. I'm so angry that this is the wrong account. What? My account? Oh, sorry if you got confused. When did you realize you're bi? I'm not bi. Um, I don't think it really matters. Who gives a shit? Do you like boys to men? Of course. My wrong Twitter account? Oh, was that about... Um, but I will suck your dick. <laughs> oh, if I said that, sure, that's funny. I like to get people, I like to get a rise out of people. It's fun. <laughs> Been following you for eight years now. Holy hell. Thank you. Thanks for sticking with me. Whew. You should act? Okay. You troll. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're all kind of trolls, aren't we? Once in a while. Should be a voice actor. I would love to do voice acting. That'd be great. -la 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 -la. How much of your interviews are truth? I'd say half. I like to build up the lore, the rumors behind stories and, and band history and personal history, it's fun. It's entertaining. I'm an entertainer, I gotta keep it real. Pumpkin or apple pie? I like both. Depends on my mood and the season.
Read your, what? Oh, sorry. Read my what? Do you like spicy biscuits? Sure. I don't know if I've had a spicy biscuit. Um, that's very sweet. A lot of these are comments and it and or compliments, not comments. They're all comments. A lot of these are compliments. It words I can't read those aloud. It makes me feel strange. It makes me happy if I read them aloud. Just know that I see them. Appreciate you. Some of these questions are jacked up. Yeah, some of them. There's good and there's bad in everything. Uh, it was the summer of 2001. <laughs> are you talking about drunk history? Is that a quote? Yeah. I don't remember that, but Joe and Pete were there to walk me through the story as I was hammer drunk. Would I be in a musical? I would love to be in a musical. How was your prom experience? I didn't go to prom. I didn't go to homecoming. I didn't go to prom. I wasn't interested. I don't know. I had friends, but I didn't want to go to the dances. I'd rather just hang out with friends. Party the way I know how. Vans or Chucks? Both. Why do I have to pick between the two? <clears throat> Would you get an inner lip tat? I never thought about it. Zach has one, but I don't know if uh, anybody's would stay as well as his did, because a lot of times it kind of fades. Music tat advice. Um, just be sure you like that musical tat you're getting. I don't know. As long as you like it. How old were you? You got your first tattoo? I was 19. 19 years old, and it was the piano keys, those guys. And then a year or two later, I got the flowers, about a year later. And I'm still working on it. See the upper arm tat? You want to see the every time I die tattoo? Yeah. So this is uh, Every Time I Die, one of my all-time favorite bands. Jordan Buckley, the guitar player who is uh, the brother of a singer, Keith Buckley. Jordan does all the artwork. And that is from New Junk Aesthetic, which is a great album. There you go. Sick tats, bro. Appreciate it, bro. No homo. Hashtag love. Um, how tall are you? I'm 5'9 on a good day. But if I'm slouching, I'm like 5'8 maybe. It's like average height, right? 5'9", five, 5'8". Five, on a good day. Yeah, on a good day. I'm almost taller than you. What? Oh, most people are taller than me. That's for sure. <clears throat> what? Talk about the time you were on a plane with lightning. Okay. If you don't know the story, we were in Japan. We were flying, this is 2006. We were flying from Tokyo to Osaka, Japan. And about 30 minutes into the flight, um, you know, the, the captain comes on speaking Japanese. We had our translator with us. We're asking what the hell is going on. All the power shut off. We just heard this boom and the whole plane shook. It comes on and explains basically that the plane was struck by lightning. We're working on getting the power back. Don't worry. Like everything shut off. It's terrifying. And then that passed. Power came back on and a couple minutes later, or a couple of seconds later, like 20 seconds later. And then uh, after that, it happened again, a second time. And we were all very freaked out still. But it kind of worked out. So 
Yeah. I mean, we're alive, so it worked out. Oh, hi, puppies. Hi, puppies. Hi. What you doing? Hi, dum dum. Have you ever had a Disneyland margarita? Like a margarita at, at Disneyland? At California Adventure? I don't think so. I've had beer at California Adventure. They don't serve alcohol at Disneyland. Unless you go into, what is it, Club 33? It's the only place. What up? Scoping. Scoping. Um, what do you think of people recording this? This broadcast? Sure. Don't matter to me. Favorite thing about Mexico? The people and the bars. I always have a really good time in Mexico. Last time we were there in Mexico City, it was awesome. Hi, bud. Hi. You want to hang out with me? Do you want to hang out? Can I get love? Come here. Come here. I'll hold you. Oh, let me hold you. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Oh, this is very sweet. Thank you. This is a good boy. Thank you. What do you think of Alaskans? I've never been to Alaska, so I can't really say. Can I? It wouldn't be fair. I don't know any Alaskans, except Sarah Palin, and that's not a fair assessment. Are you gonna live stream your smoke sesh today? Probably not. It's probably insensitive, isn't it? But I do that from time to time. I realize. <clears throat> Shots fired at Sarah Palin? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? <laughs> that joke? Speak American. Oh, there's a lot of people here that don't know how to speak American. Fucking idiot. Um. Oh, you're in the chat for the first time. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. You know what I really want, speaking of politicians, is I want that Donald Trump hat that John Oliver has. Make Donald Trump again. <laughs> I really want that. Oh, man. <laughs> my dog just opened my back door. <laughs> The door that opens up to the backyard, my dog just opened it and went inside the house. What a smart son of a bitch. Literally a son of a bitch. When are you starting your rehearsals? Uh, about two months. Probably do a day. It's usually like a two hour rehearsal. Just run through the set one and a half times maybe. Um, yeah, and then we're usually pretty good. We don't really need too much practice, luckily. I like to keep it fresh but I like to keep it kind of unhinged in a sense of uh, uneasiness. When you get on stage, it's fun to be surprised. Your dog passed away? I'm sorry. That's sad. Leak Bloody Valentine. That's not really a song, you guys. So, to explain that, if you know what My Bloody Valentine is, not the band, but the song I was working on, that's, I, I sing stuff over tracks that I build, first off, to just be able to progress the track further, to work on sounds and stuff, and it's, it keeps the monotony out of it when you jump from singing to making a track. So it's just 
working on the instrumental. So I've got the instrumental, and I'll see if I want to put some lyrics down on something later, but it's not a real song. Sorry, guys. But you can still leak it. No, I won't. It's not real. I don't want to release it. You've got the Periscope, I'm sure. You guys record it. That was just an exercise in production. But it is a real song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds legit though. Oh well, yeah, no, I'm uh, the track does. I'm working on the track, but I haven't recorded real vocals for it or lyrics. Do you like people calling you dad? No, it's very annoying. It's the worst nickname for me. I am not a dad. Alright, who's this person spamming with these fucking arrows? Get out of here, Alex, whatever, Alexa. Fuck off. You're the worst. And the fact that I'm calling attention to you is actually probably worse, huh? Because you're like, oh my god, he's calling attention to me. Yo, can you guys, like, block her or something? Or can I, can I block her? Or him? Whoever that is. Hmm? Oh, you stopped. Thank you. Thank you for that. Let's consider it. <laughs> um. Yes, you can block. You can block. <laughs> block party. Hi, Bogart. You beautiful, man. You're so handsome. Hi, Pen Pen. Oh, Penny Lane, you're so pretty. She's a pretty girl. Huh? How old are they? They're seven and eight. Bogart's gonna be eight in a few months, and Penny just turned seven four months ago. Have I been to Liverpool? I don't think I have. Been to Camden and Birmingham. Yeah, I haven't been to Liverpool. Is West Coast better than East? No, they're both great for different reasons. What kind of dogs are my dogs? Uh, the black one is a Boston Terrier and the white and brown one is a Jack Russell Terrier. And they're maniacs. Why Penny Lane, love the name. Yeah, that's um, Sarah and I's one of our favorite Beatles songs. And it was fitting, because I started singing it to Penny before we named her, started singing it to her in the car, and she flipped out. She was howling at me and barking, and I thought it was adorable, so she got the name Penny Lane. Um, am I excited for Pittsburgh? Of course. I'm excited for tour in general. It's just gonna be awesome. Seriously, it's, I love Tor so much. Do you like The Cure? I love The Cure. Hi, bud. Hi. Hey, Penny Lane. You wanna come hang out and be lovely? What are you, what are you doing? Why are you so beautiful? Huh? so dirty. Is that better? Oh, it's still kind of blurry. What the hell? Well, this one's not. There we go. Do you play a lot with your dogs? Yeah. Play fetch with them. Um, chase them around the yard, they love that. Wrestle them. Bogart's the toughest. He loves to wrestle. He does the fake bite where I punch him in the face and he goes, ah, and he doesn't fully bite down. It's adorable. Is there a pizza in your pool? Yeah. <laughs> Our floaties keep popping. We had two swans and they broke, so. They broke, they popped. So we had to get rid of them. Now we got the pizza. 
Maybe we'll get the flying unicorn. I saw that Dylan has the Pegasus, so I might have to get that. Did you get them from Dylan? No. Get a unicorn. I would love to. Yeah, we'll get a couple more. You remember that swan being stabbed to the neck? Yeah, we had to we had to kill it off. It was ruined. We wrecked it. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're so handsome. Why are you so beautiful, man? I love you. You're a good boy. Huh? Who's a good boy? The poker. What'd you do? What'd you do? Oh, buddy, what you doing? What? Who's it? What? What you want? What you want? What time is it? Come on, screen. Just come on. Help me out here. Oh, wow. It's way past your time to eat. Um, cool. Hey, thanks for hanging out, guys. As always, I appreciate you. Love you very much. And uh, yeah, until next time. Thank you.